Hello and welcome back to AWS On Air here at the SF Summit. We are here live in San Francisco. I am one of your hosts, Kyle Lee, a senior developer advocate on the AWS Amplify team. I'm here with my co-host, Steve. Steve, I, you want to introduce I yourself? I am Steve Roberts, developer advocate for .NET and PowerShell. All right, and then we are joined by our two guests from Badge, for, for Badge That. Badge wanna, That. Want to introduce yourselves? Sure. I'll go first. Uh, my name's Christy Lee. I'm a solutions architect at AWS. I help our customers design solutions that fit their use cases. And hi, I'm Michael Blyle. I'm a senior learning product manager with training and certification. Awesome. So, Badge That. What is Badge That? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? So, our customers have asked us for learning badges for years now, mm -hmm. and we listen to them. So, as of this year, we're really excited that we launched our first learning badges. Oh. Yeah. The first ones we've launched are object storage as well as badge storage. So for those who are familiar with using or have heard of Amazon Simple Storage Service or Elastic Block Store, these are representative of those services. So if you're looking to demonstrate your learning and your knowledge of those services, then the badge program might just be for you. All right. you, you, you mentioned the badge program might be for you, but who, who's you? Who are the badges for? Certainly. So we wanted to make the badges accessible to pretty much anyone who's interested in learning. So if you're, maybe you're new to cloud and you're just dabbling, you're dabbling and getting your toes wet, uh, maybe you're an experienced on-premise storage administrator, IT administrator, and you're looking to add some cloud skills. Alternatively, you know, maybe you've been building with AWS for years now and you're looking to demonstrate that you already have these skills or just brush up a little bit, these badges are perfect for pretty much anyone. Oh, okay, so it, so it sounds like whether you are just getting started with AWS or if you are maybe an experienced veteran that just has the experience by working with these different services, you know, you are qualified essentially to get a badge. For sure, yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so how do you actually earn a badge? What do you have to do to get one? Certainly. So there's four steps in order to get your first badge. Step one, register at skillbuilder.aws. Okay. It's free to sign up and it's available for anyone. So as long as you've got an email address and an internet connection, you can get to skillbuilder.aws. Okay, I think that covers all of our viewers so far. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> if they're watching Twitch, they probably have an internet connection. Um, next, you want to enroll into the learning plans respectively for block storage or object storage. After you've enrolled, at the end of that learning plan will be a badge assessment. You want to take that assessment, try your best and obtain a pass mark of 80% or better. And then last step is to claim your badge through Credly. Got it, got it. And you said you would have to pass with 80% or better. How how tough are these <laughs> Good. Are they really tough? Are you thinking about taking one of these? Uh, I kind of want a badge right now. Right. I don't know. I might have to leave with a few badges <laughs> along with some of the swag that I got. <laughs> Certainly. So, in order to prepare anyone of any experience level, with each badge, we do have an associated learning plan. So you'll see lots of content respective to that. Actually, why don't we jump into that and show yeah. people where to get that content? Let's oh, take a look, yeah. We got something to look at. Okay, oh, I'm yeah. a visual person. I would love to see that. <laughs> so what you're seeing here is logged into skillbuilder.aws, the course catalog. You'll find a variety of courses, whether it be e-learning or learning plans. What's different is that the learning plans are a collection of courses. So what we'll want to do is, first of all, you want to be able to filter through the courses. Now, at skillbuilder.aws, you'll find much more than just the badges. Here, you'll find up to f well, maybe over 500 courses. Over 500, yeah. Uh -huh. 500, 500 courses? free digital courses available. Yes. Builder. That's yeah. what I was noticing. It's like I'm look, looking at all of these courses, and I'm just seeing free, 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 free. <laughs> like, yeah. They're all free. Yeah. They're all free. All free. Oh. All right. Yeah. Okay. So you sign up for a free account, you'll have access to all of this content. Once you're signed in, you'll get instant access, which is really neat. So if you're out there today and you're in front of your computer, feel free to do this. So somebody who's can. watching this right now could go here, sign in, and just follow what you're doing to start getting a badge. Yeah, you can follow along, right. for sure. All right, okay. Not much, uh, it doesn't get much better than free <laughs> knowledge, you know? <laughs> From the source at that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. 
All right. So once you're in the course catalog, you'll be able to filter for your, your preferred domain. We've got much more than just storage here. You'll find compute, security, networking, so much more. Uh, you can search for what language you might want to attend your courses through and what type of training you'd want to filter for. So let's show our learners wow. how to get to the badges. Okay. So Got it, yeah. Let's go ahead and search for the storage learning plan. Now, while we wait for that to come up, I'm kind of curious, like, when you get one of these badges, like, what does that mean? Like, what does it mean to actually have a badge? Certainly. So it means that you've demonstrated that you have a proficiency with either object storage or block storage. Uh -oh. Now, these are two separate badges, so you can go for either or. Okay. Or you can go for both. Or both, them. right? Yeah. Even at the same time. It's like, it's totally up to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here we see the storage learning plans. You'll see that there's actually a couple, but the ones within Skill Builder that offer badges today are the object and block ones. Okay. Let's dive a little deeper into the object learning plan. In this account, you'll see that I've already enrolled into the learning plan, but you can see here is a collection of courses. So you'll be, you'll be taught a, a range of subtopics around, you know, what is Amazon Simple Storage Service? What do, uh, how do I secure my environments? What are the different storage classes? How do I manage my environments? How do I cost optimize? And how do I make it so that it's the most performant for my use case? So definitely a plethora of topics to make sure that once you do go through that content, you'll be ready to take on that badge. So this is not a course of just what is Amazon S3. This is object storage, like across a whole range of, of different domains. I mean, you mentioned performance, cost management, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a whole range of training that go towards the badge, not just one thing of like, what is S3? <laughs> exactly. We'll, we'll show you a little bit later what the assessment might include, mm -hmm. just to give our folks uh, a quick preview into it as well. Yeah, so this actually looks really interesting. Like another thing that I'm noticing here is that these are like content packed courses. It's mm -hmm. like these aren't mm -hmm. just like, oh, it's going to take half an hour and you're finished with the course right. and oh, you just happen to have a batch. Like you actually have to go through some uh, like really quality learning right here. Uh, like really action, like, uh, con like I said, content packed information on each of these courses. Yeah, I mean, there's over 12 hours of digital content in the, in the learning plans. And this goes back to what we were talking about of you really don't have to have any experience you can start at the beginning and we're gonna walk you through and help prepare you for that badge. At the same time, if you come in with knowledge, go to just the areas that uh, you need to brush up on. So Got it, so, so it's not even mandatory then? Like for no. each, I don't have to necessarily watch each video even if I know the, the, the topic. Absolutely, you can skip around and, and focus on the areas that you wanna close those gaps on. So if I was feeling particularly, uh, let's say, Confident. <laughs> Could I just go straight to the assessment? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And, and we actually, it's a, it's a good thing to do. We recommend it. I mean, go in, take the assessment, get that benchmark, and Christy will show you, uh, you know, how our score report then can create kind of a personalized learning map for you to go back and brush up on those areas that you need a little bit more knowledge on. Okay. So let me pull that up right now. Yeah. Uh, so it, in this account is my actual account where I took my own object storage badge. So you'll get to see my score report. So please, you know, don't shame me. But you have, you have the badge Coming though, right? Flex. <laughs> <laughs> so here you can see the breakdown of the various topics that assessment is, it will, will, will cover in terms of the questions in it. So, and you can see that uh, you'll be tested on cost optimization, performance optimization, and so forth. But you'll also see a breakdown of what your score is. So here you can see, oh, well, maybe Christy needs to go back and review her uh, Amazon S3 security uh -huh. because she didn't score as highly in that topic as maybe some of the other topics. Right. So interesting, actually, because that score is 76%, uh, but overall you need an 80% score to get the badge. Right? That's correct, okay. across all of the questions. Going to go get that back tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we're done with this. <laughs> yeah. So your recommendation is, or at least Michael's recommendation is, go in, if you do know something about this, take the assessment, figure out where the gaps are, use that to figure out where your gaps are, then go back and, and take the course, the relevant courses. But what if I'm completely new to this and I've, I'm starting through 12 hours of, of digital any? Do I have to take it all in one go? Can I, can I stop? Can I pause, put my life on hold for a little while? 
Yeah, absolutely. Both in our courses and in the assessment itself, you can pause and resume as many times as you want to. The learning management system of Skill Builder tracks that, so it always comes back to where you left off. You always have an option to start exactly where you left off. So if you're halfway through the assessment and you, something comes up, uh, you can pause it and come back. You don't have to re-answer those 25 questions that you had already <laughs> oh, answered. Oh, got it, yeah. got it. Yeah, that's like a really important thing because, you know, like everybody's schedule is different, mm -hmm. right? Especially when, when you know, you have responsibilities that you have to take care of and, and maybe you only have a little bit of time in the night and you just want to spend that learning every night on whatever it happens to be. If it happens to be you want to go out and get a badge, you could do that in your spare time every night. Certainly. So... Let's say I take the assessment yeah. and I figure out what my knowledge gaps are and I go through those courses and I take the assessment again mm -hmm. and I still fail. Yeah. When can I retake it? Is there, a, is there a limit? Can I do it immediately? So you can retake it as many times as you want. The only thing we ask is that there's a 24-hour waiting okay. period between taking it each time. But okay. as many times as you want. As many times as it takes. Absolutely <laughs> free. Always free to take. Always free to take. It. Absolutely. Okay. All right, so let's say I've, okay, I've been successful. I've got through the assessment. I've scored, let's be on modest, 81%, right? <laughs> How do I get my badge? So once you've passed your assessment, within about five to seven business days, you'll be issued your badge through Credly. Credly okay. is an independent vendor who partners with AWS for uh, credential valid. valid validation <laughs> and certification. So some of you may be familiar with Credly uh, from doing certifications with other vendors as well. So I'll show you an example of what that looks like once you do once you have been issued your badge. So this is my, my own Credly account logged in. You'll see that it was issued to me on this particular date. You can even share these out through LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, your common social media sites if you would like to celebrate your achievement and demonstrate to your peers or even maybe a prospective employer yeah. uh, that you've earned this badge and obtained that knowledge. Got it. Cool. And, and, you know, going through, when there's so much content, it might take you a few times to go through a course. You know, I'm, I'm not a particularly good test taker, so I know I'm probably going to have to go in a couple of times. Is there anything that we can do about, like, you know, maybe I haven't achieved my goal and got the badge yet, but is there like any partial credit or anything like that? Or So on the questions themselves, for questions that require more than one right answer, we call those multiple select, we do give partial credit oh, okay. uh, on those questions, but you don't get partial credit for the whole Oh, okay. yeah, no, You don't get a half yeah. a badge, okay? okay? <laughs> Well, yeah. it's good to know. Yeah, so th so it's not just multiple choice. Then there is like uh, th there are multiple answers that that can be provided, where it's like okay, I'm getting closer to the answer, or I know this part, but I don't necessarily know all of it, and yes. that might that might count. Yeah, got Absolutely. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we certainly want to encourage our learners to go and take the assessment, just kind of see where they're at, and then give them it'll give them prescriptive guidance as to these are the topics you should go back and review in order to get a better mark your next time around. Uh, and each assessment is approximately an hour. It's usually 45 to 60 of these multiple choice or multiple select questions. So, you know, if you can take an hour and set aside to take the exam, it's not like it's a four day or, yeah. you know, eight hour exam. And Got you can it. take it in the comfort of your own home. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it in your pajamas if you would like. No one will know. <laughs> Except you. Yeah. Maybe, we should have, maybe we should have a digital badge for taking courses in your PJs. Oh, yes. I would love that. <laughs> I have pajama pants on right now, but you just can't see. No. <laughs> you, you don't. You don't want to see. No. <laughs> they have bananas on them. <laughs> so are there any plans to expand this badge program? So right now we have object storage. We've got block storage. Are we, are we going to expand this? Are we going elsewhere? Certainly. So... Uh, as you saw earlier when we pulled up the storage learning plans, there's actually one for file storage as well. Okay. Uh, so as well as um, respectively, you know, data migration, disaster recovery, uh, and uh, data protection too. So later this year, we're excited that we're going to be launching new badges to cover those topics as well. They will be their own individual badges. So this could kind of be like you could go and start with your object and block, and then once those get released, you could add those badges into you know, your repertoire. 
So yeah. We encourage you to get the whole collection. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to get badges and then put them on my laptop. Yeah. Just flex on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the cool things that, that AM said when we were when we were talking about this yesterday with Michael was like, you know, these are badges and, and, and the courses are not just to a particular service. It's a series of techniques, right? Object storage, blocks or not S3 yeah. or EFS or whatever the, the course yeah, service is. Best practices to be, right? for how yeah. a, 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 a system essentially works. Yes, yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Neat. Well, is there anything else that we should know about badge that? Because I kind of want to try out getting one of these badges. You want to pile well, straight I, away? I, I, I need to actually get my assessment done. Right, I have to see. <laughs> I have to see how far behind I am, and then go back and watch all those videos that are relevant. Well, I, you know, I think the thing that is just fantastic about this program is it's free and it's available to anyone, and it doesn't matter your skill level coming in. Uh, we're going to guide you along the way, and it's a, it's really a wonderful achievement to be able to show your peers, yourself, potential employers, you know, that you have this knowledge. And it, like you said, it's not on just one service; it's on object storage or block storage. So, you know, very much tied back to business applications. Got it. Yeah. So something that I could potentially put on a resume to Absolutely. help s make me stand out from a group that might be applying for a specific position where, you know, object storage is a key factor of what's going to actually be happening then. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so then on the uh, on the flip side, essentially an, an, an employer could essentially say, oh, you're going to need this specific course or you're going to need this specific badge in order to work for this specific position then too. Absolutely could end up going that way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So to give you an example, Kyle, like I, I've got some customers who are looking at doing, you know, some large projects with Amazon S3 and as well as EBS. So I'm looking at recommending these badges to them to help them prepare for those projects that are coming on. Just give them the confidence. All of the content that's put into skillbuilder.aws is up to date, curated by our subject matter experts. So you're getting a direct from the source. So they know that they're getting quality content that's going to prepare them for these initiatives. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One of the hardest parts about learning any topic, especially in the tech industry, is figuring out where to go and what to, what steps to take next. And it sounds like when you're working with the badge that, and not not only are you guided in the right direction and where you're supposed to go to keep learning, but you actually get awarded for your achievement when you actually pass that test and you gain the knowledge. So thank you both for being yeah. on here on AWS On Air. I cannot wait to, to hear about all the new things that are going to come because we're not done, right? No. We're not stopping here. No, we're not stopping here. <laughs> we're not stopping here. <laughs> all right. So it sounds like there's so much more to, be, uh, to, to come in the future, and we look forward to having you both back on. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank all you right. for coming on. Be back shortly. All right.